welcome back to Cursed Mining and today we have Rick Moving Day. This gives us the chance to talk about some machines which have been running here lately and what is changing around. Yep, summer is here and it is hot. To give you some orientation, I basically have two locations for my miners. On the one hand there is my office space where I also have my dedicated video spot. Then I got a room in my basement just for miners. The system is easy, when it turns cold I will move one or two GPU rigs upstairs to the office and then don't need heating anymore. Loud machines like ASICs stay downstairs all year and then in summer when it turns hot I move all machines into the mining room. Like that my actual heating system of the house is off for 3 years in a row now, except for water of course. Let's start with a fail. Remember the Palit M8 case we modded with Noxious? Well for a while it was exactly what I wanted it to be. A quick rig to deploy cards while I work on something else. No matter if old 1060 or AMD cards, it had a lot of cards of mine. If only just for a while. As long as the GPUs are not triple fan size long, they will fit great. One day though suddenly the pallet stopped mining, super weird, it boots and gets recognized just without the GPUs. So normally you know the deal, one would sit down and find the problem. But on the other hand you know that as miners we just hate downtime. That brings me to the machine which saved this one before we finish the story. There is another AMD rig which was a simple open one. You will recognize most of the parts from different videos. We, basically with the pallet one failing I had to open this rig up too. Because I still have a H110 Pro BTC motherboard for all those cards but no space in this frame. So actually my oldest rig when you go by most parts was split up. The frame went to the budget mining rig build. I will link you in the top right corner. The motherboard went into the acrylic open air test bench from last week. Now I had the cards of this miner and of the failing pallet one free. They needed a new home. Here mineshop.eu comes in. Again another shout out. They sent me a 12 GPU mining rig frame. So you already know where this is going. I did a complete rebuild of those two old rigs in the new frame. As Guntis is awesome and the frame is too, it will get its own review. But I think you can already hear that I like the thing. So rebuilding a new rig out of the two with leaving a few spaces. I also ran out of fans of the same kind. And honestly just for the reason that I'm filming everything I do, I did not want to slap it full of different ones. So two rigs turned into one. I had it in my office for a bit still, but this turned hot. Which brought me to a little problem. It's too big to fit any of my shelves downstairs. Even though it looks shitty, I'm sorry folks, the rig is staying on the floor for now. The thermals are not even bad that way. I still want to find a way to incorporate it into the rest of the room. The boxed Nvidia rig you saw upstairs more has already moved down for a while. And yes, it finally has three of the same fans. It was time. Thanks to the boxed case it moves air perfectly and the cards stay below the 60s. Not too much to say about that one for moving day to day. It is just stable and forgotten as you want a rig to be. A non GPU miner which is a loyal little machine since 2017 is the Antminer L3+. Plus. It is incredible that a machine like that can still earn but hell yeah it does. And thanks to what? Dogecoin. <laughs> It really feels like we are living in an alternate timeline at times. Because if I would have told myself back then that we will earn more in mining dog coins than Litecoin one day, I would have laughed. <laughs> Either way, it is running great. Still on Bliss firmware from our old video on a low power setting. Right now I'm managing between 590 and 600 megahash a second below 900 watts, which is nice. And yep, also here a need for an update video. Speaking of machines I need to make videos about, there is also the Octominer. It now has been running for 3 years. I think it's worth it to do a recap on the whole deal from back then to now as it got some updates too. Not only in terms of cards. Please subscribe if you like to see that. That's what I needed to move for now in order to survive and not die from heat. A quick rig moving video, but I still call most of it work in progress. Of course some stuff stayed upstairs, more construction sites. There will also be a video for building an exhaust for the basement room this year too as I already feel that my old solution of just moving the air probably won't be enough anymore. 
also on the one hand this video gave you a little bit of an overview of what has been happening with the machines at the same time it gave you and me an idea of some of the upcoming things i want to make videos about besides that there is also the DeFi playlist which gets work done on the site I hope all of you are doing well and that summer is treating your rigs okay. Please subscribe for weekly tech and crypto content. Happy mining and bye.